Chris Mannix for the crossover alongside Howard Beck and Ben Pickman. Guys, NBA All-Star voting is underway, and there are a number of qualified candidates to be first-time All-Stars. Howard, who do you think should make the All-Star team for the first time? Well, the guy I think should finally get his due is Malcolm Brogdon of the Indiana Pacers, the perpetually underrated, perpetually underappreciated, and left out of the discussion Malcolm Brogdon. He is averaging 22 points, seven assists, and four rebounds. And before you say, well, what's the significance of that? I'll tell you, there are only seven guys in the league averaging those numbers. The others are LeBron James, Dame Lillard, Jokic, Doncic, Trey Young, and James Harden. That is elite territory to be in. Brogdon's also shooting 40% on threes. He's the Pacers' leading scorer. He's their leading playmaker. And he's one of the primary reasons, obviously, along with Demata Sabonis, that they are still in the thick of things in the Eastern Conference, despite playing just nine games with Oladipo before they traded him. They've had zero games with Karis LeVert, their main pickup in that deal. They only had four games with TJ Warren. And it's because Malcolm Brogdon has, uh, once again, just defied all expectations. This is a guy who was considered a mere role player in Milwaukee. He is now absolutely an essential foundational piece of this Pacers team. And I think he needs to get rewarded with one of those all-star spots. Yeah, it's certainly hard to argue against Brogdon's case, but I'm going to go the other way with the forward. Someone who I'm, it's hard to believe I'm saying it, but Julius Randle, let's give him a first time all-star nod. And it's a little bit crazy when you think about the start of the season to think that the Nets are, uh, the Knicks rather, are now nine and 12, but here they are. And Julius Randle is a big reason why you look at him so far this season, 22 points, 11 rebounds, six assists per game, which is the fourth most assists of any forward in the league, and he's playing top five minutes around the NBA. The Knicks are in the playoff hunt, which is a big surprise, and Julius Randle is a big reason why. He has a usage rate higher than guys like DeMontis Sabonis and Pascal Siakam, and if you look at the Eastern Conference and specifically at some of their forwards, you know guys like Kevin Durant and Giannis and Joel Embiid are locks to make the front court spot, but there isn't a lot of front court options, or there aren't a lot of front court options. For that reserve spot, Jason Tatum will surely be an all-star, and someone like DeMontis Sabonis, as Howard mentioned, is another likely candidate. But there aren't a lot of other guys other than that. Maybe Bam Adebayo can make a case, but the Knicks are in contention, Julius Randle being a big reason why. And let's reward the former top 10 pick, who has been a journeyman through the Lakers and the Pelicans, has now found a home in New York under Tom Thibodeau. So Julius Randle, first-time all-star for me. Yeah, the Knicks being 9-12 and 12 is as close to a reason they've had to throw a parade in New York City. So Randall does deserve some recognition there. The no-brainer in this group, though, is Jalen Brown. I mean, Jalen Brown has been not just an all-star level player this year, but an all-NBA level player this year. He's averaging around 27 points per game. His shooting percentage is well above 50% from the floor. His three-point percentage is well above 40% from beyond the arc. This guy has been excellent on both ends of the floor. And as the Celtics have navigated injuries to Kemba Walker and a COVID issue with Jason Tatum, Brown has been the one consistent guy out there scoring, making plays. And let me tell you, Ben, I'm old enough to remember when Jalen Brown's draft selection was booed at the TD Garden. They booed that draft selection because people in Boston wanted Chris Dunn, that kid that grew up and played right down the street. I think all those people probably want their booze back right now because Jalen Brown has turned into close to a superstar in this league. I mean, Jason Tatum is still the alpha of this team, but Jalen Brown has significantly closed that gap. Yeah, without a doubt. And there are another, a number of young players who are also in the conversation who might have gotten recent booze, Colin Sexton being one. You know, he is a recent draft pick. A lottery pick who is in the conversation to make a first-time All-Star team. John Morant, another potential contender. And let's not forget about Zach Levine. It feels like every year at this point we start to debate, is Zach Levine worthy of a first-time All-Star nod? And while Chicago, I think, is performing a little bit better than teams or some people expected, they're still outside the playoff picture. And so I think Levine will miss it yet again. But yeah, you're absolutely right, Chris. Jalen Brown, a no-brainer. And he's going to be a starter, the lone starter of the guys we mentioned. Uh, Colin Sexton should get the all-star nod simply for creating Sexland in Cleveland, which is maybe the greatest nickname for a team that I've heard in the last couple of years. For more, check us out over at SI.com.